What's up guys, breaking news just happened. The Colts have traded a third round pick in this year and a conditional uh, second round pick for next year, which could possibly turn out to be a first round pick depending, I actually don't know what the circumstances were. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it's like basically, play, it's play level, I'm pretty sure, of what Carson Wentz does. So there's a chance that Carson Wentz got traded for a second and third or a first and a third. Do all the hints, but I mean, I think this could possibly be a great trade for the Colts because the Colts are um, in a quarterback trouble right now because they have Phil Brady retired and Jacob Cody Brissett is now a free agent. Um, and also Frank Reich and Carson Wentz, um, them two together, Carson Wentz had an MVP type season before he got hurt and possibly could have won the MVP if he never got hurt. So great trade by both teams in my opinion actually. That third round pick could definitely get them like a receiver, the Eagles a receiver, maybe uh, I don't know. Just basically anything. They need a corner. Uh, but yeah, they can always do something with that third round pick. It's probably they're not going to be a terrible player out of that. And especially next year, if they get that second round pick, is definitely going to be someone good. And then helps their kind of rebuild phase they're going through right now. So yeah, I think this is a really good trade for both teams. And I'm excited to see how this works. Because Carson Wentz is now going to have an offensive line um, like he did with in, when he had his MVP like season. Um, now I think the Colts just need to pick up one more receiver. And I think this team is solid. Resign T.Y. pick up like Allen Robinson, Chris Gall Godwin or something, and this team is solid. I think this team has some good potential, and I think now if Frank Reich and Carson Wentz get on the same page again and they click, this is an easy Super Bowl contender, to me, in my opinion. And now I feel like with the Colts having an actual quarterback now, I feel like they can actually lure free agents because you don't want to go to a team that doesn't have a quarterback yet, right? Because Jacob Eason, has, he hasn't seen that guy. So I mean, yeah, I think this is a great trade for great, great trade for both teams. Um, I'm interested to see what Jalen Hurst does next year also. Maybe he'll have a breakout season. He's done pretty well other than the um, fumbles and interceptions, turnovers. He was playing pretty well. So hopefully Jalen Hurst can get his uh, turnover issues over and keep his, uh, keep his how he's been playing. And they could be a star in this league. But, yeah, I think this is a great trade. Um, hopefully the Colts can build around um, Carson Wentz and not having to struggle because that running back core is, is really great. So they just need to figure out one more receiver, I think, in my opinion. And that team is elite and could be, could be a Super Bowl contender. Um, they still have a lot of competition with the Chiefs and the uh, Bills, but I feel like they can contend with them. Especially that defense getting older, that's going to be great. Um, so that's all I got to say. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, good luck, Carson and the Colts, and good luck with the Eagles. All right, back real quick because um, they just announced what the conditional pick was. Um, if Carson Wentz plays 75% of play time of the season, so basically 75% is about, I don't know, actually no, it's really about, but basically if he's starting 70, like a third, three-fourths of the season, I'm pretty sure is what it is, then they get the first round pick, or if he plays at least 70% and they make the playoffs, so that, so basically it's due if he gets injured or not, if they get the first round pick. Alright, now see